welcome back to my channel so today's video is going to be of this full faced makeup tutorial but mainly focusing on the eyes in this video i have teamed up with rimmel london australia to show you their new scandalized eyeliners and mascara so if you would like to see how i created this eye look using the new rimmel london goodies then keep on watching so first up i'm just gonna go and fill in my brows Then I'm just grabbing some concealer on a concealer brush and just using that to define the brows. And then to start the face, I'm going to go in with a pore filling primer just around my nose and chin area. It's because I have heaps of like textured bumps and lumps. Then going in with a foundation and I'm just using my beauty blender to blend that in. It is going to look really dark because I don't usually tan my face. So it will definitely blend into my neck. By the way, I'll leave everything I use down below. And just going in with a lighter concealer and just using that to conceal and highlight my under eye area then on the chin cupid's bow forehead and down the bridge of my nose and then just blending it all in with the same beauty blender Then I'm just going to set that concealed area just with some translucent powder. This just ensures that the concealer won't crease throughout the day or the night. Then I'm taking the Rimmel Long Lasting Finishing Powder. This is in the shade Silky Beige and I'm just going to use that to set the rest of my face. And I'm going to go in with the Rimmel Stay Matte Powder and just use that to set the eyes. Just so the eyeshadow blends seamlessly. Then I'm just going to wipe off the excess bake. Then I'm just taking a bronzer to bronze up my face. Then I'm just going to take a translucent powder again. And just use that to bake. Then just going in with a blush and applying that on the apples of my cheeks. And then just applying some highlighter on my cheekbones. Oh yes, I love highlighters so much. So I'm going to do something really bronzy and kind of effortless because I want the eyeliner to be the main star of my eye makeup. So I'm just going to go in with a transition shade. So I'm just using a really like warm toned soft brown. I'm just taking a gold and just using that all over the lid. I'm just going to take a deeper brown colour and just concentrate that mainly on the outer corner. I'm just going to take that same brown shade and use that underneath my lower lash line. And then I'm just going to pop that same gold in the inner corner to highlight it. So now I'm just going to wipe off the bake. 
So they've actually come out with two different eyeliners, which are felt tip. One of the liners is really, really fine. So it can give you that really sharp wing look. There's the other one, which is a tad thicker if you just wanted to use liner on the top and you didn't want to do a wing. You could do a wing with it as well, but the other one is way more precise and easier to do a wing. These are what the eyeliners look like. I'll open them up now so you guys can see the comparison in the tip size. The eyeliner at the top is actually called the Precision Micro Liner, which pretty much speaks for itself because it has a really, really precise thin tip. Whereas the one on the bottom is called the Thick and Thin Liner, which is actually angled, if you can kind of see that. I'll try and do an up close of both of them as well. So I've just done a swatch of both liners. So the top one is obviously the Thick and Thin Liner. I used the thicker side to create that. And then the bottom one is the Precision Micro Liner. And they also came out with their new Scandalize Reloaded Mascara. I'll open it for you guys and show you. So that is what the wand looks like. Super keen to try this one out today as well. So I'm going to zoom you guys up and show you guys how the eyeliners and mascara work. I'm going to start off using the Thick and Thin Liner to just line the top. And then I'm going to use the Micro Liner for the sharp wing. So... So far, really, really pigmented and easy to use. Wow. So I'm just going to leave it like that for now and I'm going to go in with the other eye. Now I'm going to go in with the micro liner and I'm going to use that to create the wing. So what I'm going to do first is... Create the outline of the wing. So like that. I'm not going to go from the very top. I'm going to go from about here and then just drag it straight down. That was super, super easy to achieve. Okay, I'm going to do the other side now. I'm actually really, really impressed with those wings. Usually I would go for more of a thicker wing, but because I have eyelash extensions and I can't put any falsies over the top and I'm just going to be using mascara, I think that those wings, like really really compliment the um eye makeup okay so now that the line is done i'm going to go ahead and try their mascara the rimmel scandalize reloaded mascara i know i have eyelash extensions but it is safe to put mascara over the top so i'm just gonna coat them Then for lipstick, I'm going to go in with the Rimmel Kate Moss Collection in the shade 55 My Nude. I got these the other week and I was literally dying over the colours, so I'm so keen to try it out. Oh my god, yes. That is amazing. What the hell? So this is the final makeup look. I hope you guys enjoyed watching and if you did, please don't forget to give it a thumbs up for me and subscribe to my channel for more videos. Also, don't forget to check out the new Rimmel London Scandalize eyeliners and mascaras which are in store now and I will see you in my next video. Bye guys.